The conflict mainly arises when um, she gets mad at me. Sometimes she'll say, you're not really a good Christian. My mom was getting really upset. She started hitting me, and I just got around her, and I put her in a headlock, and I just started yelling and screaming at her ear. And I've had so many people, like, spread rumors about me. It really, it totally ruined my image and who I was. I felt like I was severed from God, and I didn't deserve his love. I would feel so, so much resentment against God. And he threatened to arrest me, and I said, you, you can't arrest me for doing anything. So he pretty much put me in handcuffs and put me in the car. A lot of conflict has happened between me and my mom, because lately we've been fighting nonstop. I started getting texts on my phone and messages on my space from my friends saying really mean things to me. I felt completely betrayed by all of them. I felt ashamed this started be because of my actions and because I egged it on. But the choice we all have, you and me, in these moments is, Am I going to be part of making this situation better or worse? We have to be very careful about which people we allow to be close friends in our life because who we're friends with is going to shape the person that we become. Romans 13.1 says, For all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. The Bible promises repeatedly that God will never leave us or forsake us, even in the midst of chaos. Someone needs to be addressing this, this view of the teen years as a vacation from responsibility. I used people, I used my family, and manipulated them. I was into drugs. This is God's so, song. And God has something he wants to say through it. And if it wasn't through us, it would have been through someone else. For everybody, I think there's a, there's a God of the city story that is waiting to be written on your life. 